Hello everyone and welcome to this complete Harper AI tutorial. We'll be showing you how to use the Harper AI extension. Once you get to Harper AI, you're going to look at this page. On this page, you're going to have the option to add to browser. Go ahead and click on it. Now, depending on your web browser, if you're using the Chrome browser, you're going to see add to Chrome. However, at the top here, you can see that you can also use it on the Microsoft Edge browser extensions. So we can click over here, get extension. We can go ahead and click right here. And as you can see, add extension, add Harper AI automation agent with Claude, ChatGPT, Gemini, DeepSeek to Microsoft Edge. This extension can read and change all your data on all websites and display notifications. We're going to click on add extension to begin. As you can see, it's currently downloaded. Once it's done, it's going to open this new page. On the right side, you have the option to sign in or create an account. Do take note that the Harper AI has a good security measure to protect your interests. Now you have the email address which you can use to sign up. However, we want to make things easier, so we're going to click on signing with Google. On the left side here, you will see a demo of what you can do with Harper AI, such as pressing Alt V on Windows to capture the area on the screen. You have some more information which we'll be putting into practice in a moment. So right away, we're going to click on sign up with Google and this will bring up a pop-up where you can select your email which you would like to use for the registration and use with Harper AI. And now we're in because we put in our email and that's how fast you can have your Harper AI initialized. And as you can see, you can capture a view, search the web, explain, ask page, summarize, extract data, repurpose page, rewrite, or write a reply. Now there are scenarios where these are great. For example, if you're in your email, you can use write a reply to write a response to your email recipient. You could also extract data, summarize the page if you don't have the time to read all the information. And we will be giving you some examples as we promised earlier. At the top here, it says drag and drop images or PDFs, then press Alt plus V to capture screen area. Right? Then at the top here you have AI and then you have automate. Do take note that this comes at a price so you'll need to be aware of that. We're going to go back to the AI side of things and for example we want to click on capture view or we could press alt V. But before we do that we're going to also be talking about pressing the forward stroke for commands. But first we want to have a test using the Harper AI website itself. So let's try alt V. And you can see my mouse has been changed to the plus icon there and it shows you that it's ready to capture. We're going to click, drag and release. And it's here asking for permissions, of course, because it's going to be taking some data from this page. Click on allow to allow that to happen. And then you need to notice at the bottom that you have this page which you captured right here. If you made a mistake, you can click on X to cancel it. And then we're going to press an Alt plus V once again select the area and this will pop up once again and we have the page right here and then here we could say explain this press and enter and here you have your response pretty nice it says this image is a promotional screenshot for hopper ai showcasing its functionality for conducting in-depth searches and that's exactly what it's doing here of course we knew that and we just wanted to test it out imagine if you're on another website and you have no clue about what is happening so now we're going to go to a wikipedia page and search for a random information there so we're currently on Wikipedia, but first you'll need to make sure that you have your Harper AI extension appearing right here. In order to do that, you're going to click on the extensions button, and then you have Harper AI. Make sure to click on the pin to taskbar button. It's located like this, looking like a pin. And there you have Harper AI. Now we're on wikipedia.org and we're going to click on the Harper AI tool. And there you're going to have your Harper AI ready to be used. So what we're going to do now is to make a search. So we're going to make a search for the honey badger. See, we're doing a research on this and we're coming over to Wikipedia for this. Now there's lots of information on the honey badger and say we want to streamline the process. What we could do is to come on with Harper AI. Now, because we clicked on Harper AI at the top here, we can click on the area here to put in some text and it says here press forward slash four commands now of course before doing that you can see some suggestions right here such as summarize so summarizing this page might be the ideal example of how harper works well 
So before we do that, we can have the option to press forward slash. And when you press a forward slash and scroll, you can see summary. So for example, you can see SUM and you can see summarize. It says summarize the entire page content into a list of key takeaways, tweet, etc. So we're going to click on it. So after picking on it, it says pick a summary format or type custom instructions. So here we can put in a report, TLDR, text, execute, emoji list, tweet, fact check. Now the TLDR basically means too long, don't read, right? So we don't want to read this. And if you're like me, whose eyes get tired of reading lots of information on a white screen or a black screen, you can use this. And we've clicked on TLDR and it's currently generating the response. As you can see, this is one over three and it basically summarizes it using bullet points to make it easier to read. Of course, we'll still be on the website, but here you can see it makes it easier. This is two over three, key takeaways, and then you have three over three. You can bet that you can read all of this before reading the actual Wikipedia page. Of course, you might want to look at the page for some of the diagrams to see how the visual representation of the honey badger matches with the text. However, this really helps you to summarize the text efficiently. Now at the end, you have the option to say done and that will be done with a summary. You can say shorten, simplify, clarify, repurpose text or fact check. If we click on fact check, you can see that there is one inaccuracy. However, it says the level of accuracy on this page is high. Now you can verify the inaccuracy. It is the sole species of the Mellivora genus and subfamily. Now this is a statement and then this is the fact arguing the inaccuracy of this page. Now, at this point, you might be already having ideas of how to use Harper AI for research and summaries of documents. And now for this example, we're on a YouTube page and this is a random page we just got to and we'd like to have Harper AI do its thing. So at the top, we're going to click on Harper AI and here you can see that it's already discerning that we're on YouTube and would like to summarize a video. So it says here, summarize video, repurpose video, ask and seek, and all of this here. So you also have create script, write comment, etc. Now, if this is not among the options you'd like to take, you can forward slash and you can say summarize once again. And this will bring up the summary option on the productivity. You also have YouTube summary and it says summarize video summary, right? So we can click on this. Then you have takeaways, nested captions, text, ideas, and fact check. Of course, we want to have uh, the takeaways and we're going to click on takeaways and it says parsing video from the page. Long videos may take seconds to parse. Now these are the key takeaways from this video, which you can read really fast. You can compare to read this versus watching the video for 10 minutes. Of course, this doesn't work in all circumstances as you might need to watch the video. But of course, if you'd like to summarize the video, here is the response from Harper AI. And for the last example, we have this Shopify email right here. And currently we're on our email and would like to show you how it works with the email. Now, this is a Shopify ad. And of course, we don't want to read everything. We want to use Harper AI to do the trick. And here it says summarize this email, right? So of course, we've been using summarize and would like to have reply to email. So let's say this is a correspondence from your work and you'd like to have a fast reply from the text. It's going to read everything and give you a suggestion on how to reply. So we're going to click on reply to email. And here it says the draft a reply in your tone of voice. How to reply? You can click on it. So you could either praise, clarify, ask for info, acknowledge, encourage, criticize, etc. So you can say clarify if you're not sure of what is being said. So you can see the response for clarification. It says hi as a response. Thank you for reaching out. Could you please clarify the message regarding the $1 trial offer? I would like more details to understand what it entails. Best regards. And of course, it might write your name beneath it. And if this is what you want, you can simply copy this and paste it to continue responding to this email. As you can see, Harper AI is a great tool to help you streamline and speed up the process of making your research, summarizing videos, summarizing text, or replying emails, and much more. Don't forget to use the forward slash to populate other examples of what you can actually do with Harper AI. There are lots of them, and we know that you can use them based on the principled examples which we've provided in this video. So go ahead and see what more you can do with Harper AI and thanks for watching.